Dr. Kesselman. Good morning, President Sakian, members of the faculty and administration, distinguished guests, fellow graduates, family, and friends. To begin, I would like to congratulate my fellow graduates for reaching this important milestone in life. Today is a day to celebrate, reflect, and take pride in your academic accomplishments. It is also a day to express heartfelt thanks to our professors, family, and friends who have helped us on our journey toward graduation. American author Robert McKee once said, stories are the currency of human contact. A compelling story has the power not only to inform, but to persuade, evoke strong emotion, and build connections with others. It also enables us to reflect upon life's most memorable moments and consider what is truly important. In fact, it is the need to help people tell their own stories that first attracted me to the field of speech pathology. During my clinical experiences, I have seen firsthand the frustration of clients who cannot convey their stories due to communication challenges such as stuttering, language disorders, articulation disorders, and hearing loss. This has made me develop an appreciation for the power of storytelling and exchanging experiences with others. Graduates, good stories give their listeners an emotional experience, and our Stockton coming of age narrative has included a scholarly setting, compelling characters, unexpected plot twists, and personal growth over time. Today, I would like to assert that stories are the foundation of communication, and they help us build relationships, preserve the past, and learn from the experiences of others. Inside the classroom, by listening to our professors, we have been given wonderful opportunities to discover who we are as individuals, what employers want, and what the 21st century demands. For instance, the creative students in the School of Arts and Humanities have learned the skill of storytelling through art, history, language, and literature. The savvy School of Business students have learned to use communication and storytelling as a creative aspect to promote businesses and products that meet the needs of today's consumers. Scholarly students in the School of Education know that every child has a story, and that children learn best in classrooms that honor their social and intellectual needs. The worldly students in the School of General Studies have learned critical thinking skills necessary to appreciate storytelling through the perspective of other cultures. And the compassionate students in the School of Health Sciences have learned to pay attention to their client's case history and personal narrative with the goal of providing the most appropriate care. By listening to the stories of our professors and the multiple perspectives of our textbooks, we have gained awareness and appreciation for what the human mind and spirit can accomplish. Outside of the classroom, we have developed many of our own college stories and memories. Years from now, when the facts and figures learned in my classes fade away, I will always remember laughing with my friends and roommates in the honors program. I will always remember my dedicated professors and peers in the speech pathology department. I will always remember my wonderful speech students at the Hess Elementary School. I will always remember the heartwarming volunteer experiences I had with Circle K. And I will always remember the simple beauty of watching the sunset on Lake Fred. Graduates, as you leave Stockton today, what moments will you remember? Treasure your college stories and learn from the stories of others. But more importantly, use them to teach, persuade, inspire, and grow in your personal and professional endeavors. Congratulations, class of 2013. May this be the beginning of a new story and a bright future for all. Thank you.